What's up everybody, this is BC. Welcome to another video. Now, <clears throat> again, by popular demand, <clears throat> I've gotten a lot of people who have asked me to make a video highlighting the pros and cons of real estate. I know I have a lot of seasoned vets that follow me, people who are newer, in the middle, yet I am getting a ton of traffic from people who are not related at all to the real estate industry, okay? If you are a realtor watching, as you see the email and everything flashing below, make sure you follow me on social media. And if you have any referrals for us, uh, send them our way and we will reciprocate by giving you some as well as we're getting a ton now, all right? What are the pros and cons of being a realtor, okay? Now I wanna start with first the cons because this is typically uh, what most people will con uh, come across, I guess you can say first. You will voice to somebody, hey, I'm thinking about being a real estate agent and the negativity will just start pouring out or the doubt or insecurities or whatever it is. No one's ever like, oh yeah, you wanna be a realtor? Go for it, you'll be successful. Everyone's like, you, <laughs> get out of here. Right, which is what I heard, and it made me laugh, because look at me now. All right, Start with the cons. Number one, a lot of people, and again, it's the people who never have done it or have failed. Right? You'll never, you're never gonna hear something negative from somebody who's done it and actually been on the other side of success when it comes to doing something entrepreneurial or real estate, yet you will be doubted. You will be told all of the possibilities, or negative possibilities in particular, of being a realtor, you're gonna to be told you can't do it, you're too young, you're too old, you've never done sales, you don't own a suit, blah, 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 you're too tall, you're too short, whatever it is, okay? Oh, I mean, you, you, your eyes are too dark. I mean, they're gonna say something, right? As ridiculous as that last one was, I heard it all when I started, so be ready. And that's the con, is you will face a lot of criticism and negative criticism because it is a career, unfortunately, where the majority of people do become a statistic and they fail. Okay? That's just the facts. If you look it up, I think it's 87% of realtors within the first two years are out of the business. Okay, That's an alarming fact, yet there is a reason the other 13% are still there. Now, out of that 13%, only a small percentage are actually really successful, so I recommend that you follow my channel if you're thinking about it so you get some cold, hard facts on how to get your business started, to get some momentum, and actually be successful and not be a statistic, all right? So that's one, it's gonna be negative criticism, believe me. I could talk the whole video about it, but I won't. Just be ready for it. Be ready that when you say, I'm gonna be a real estate agent, that everyone's gonna say, ugh, get away from me. All right? <clears throat> Number two, one of the cons is, it is very easy to get in. Now, people would say, well, that's a pro. It is a pro as well, but it's also a con because by virtue of that, you're gonna be surrounded with people who are average or mediocre and whose advice will not be the best. So I'm gonna heed you with this warning and say, make sure that you follow advice from the right people, all right? So that level of amateur or average or mediocre is rampant in the industry, right? A lot of people, it isn't that they don't necessarily try, it's they're part-time or they don't really care and they don't take it seriously. However, if they end up working with somebody, a potential client, and then they make that client upset because of the fact that they're not taking it serious or they're not an expert, now that one bad apple just spoiled a bunch, okay? So that's con number two. Number three is you are an independent contractor. Right now, for a lot of people that works against them, here's why. You suddenly get into this career where you don't have a boss or somebody yelling down your throat, you don't have to clock in in a nine to five setting, right? So some people are like, man, that's great. Well, yeah, it's good, but it's also a con because the majority of people will fall prey to it and say, well, I have freedoms, I can do this, I can do that. They don't show up and they don't work hard. Okay, now in the pros, I'll cover why that is a pro, but I will label it as a con because the majority of people will take that the wrong way, and instead of actually buckling down and working more, they end up working less. All right? Uh, I would say number four would be lack of proper training, right? You know when you get a regular nine to five job or you go into a special uh, section or a special career, right? Whether doctor, engineer, lawyer, whatever, you will receive a certain amount of formal training, whether from your company or some sort of avenue. That's very lacking in real estate. Because in most cases, when you get into an office, you show up, it's your first day, the broker's like, welcome to Century 21 or Keller Williams or whatever. There's your desk, there's your, uh, there's your desk, cubicle, there's your phone, get to work, and they walk off and you're sitting there like, ah. Now, with that said, we're in a different era now. You can come to my YouTube channel in particular, or probably a few others, and get a ton of training for free, and you have some sort of guidance. However, in the setting itself, it's highly lacking, and then we wonder why we have a bunch of people who aren't good at sales, and they don't know what they're doing, okay? 
Now, the last con is gonna be the barrier to entry is very low. Now, some people will say, again, that's a pro, but I don't think so. Because you're coming into something that is labeled as a certain way, when in actuality, for example, they'll label real estate as an easy job. People look at it and they think it's easy. Yet, it is a direct sales job. You have to talk to people and clients and that kind of stuff, but that's not the way it's packaged up and sold. It's packaged up as this easy thing where you just show up in a suit and you get leads and you get business. Now, if you get into the business, that cold hard, uh, cold, hard reality is going to slap you in the face because you're going to say, whoa, 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 I'm watching a million dollar listing and they just kind of get on the phone and they negotiate and they make hundreds of thousands of dollars. What's going on here? And then you're sitting there saying, where's my business, right? Cool. Now I could go on and on, but I want to highlight some pros right now. The pros is you can come in. You don't have to climb any kind of corporate ladder. You can just go straight to the top based on your production. So if you produce, you get paid and I love it. That is definitely a pro. You can come in. Now, if you really buckle down and you work on the skills and you make your learning curve shrink like this and you start getting everything quickly and you start getting sales and working hard and that kind of stuff, you can literally change your life in six months or a year, guaranteed. It's incredible. There's very few other avenues on this planet right now. I know it's a little bit easier with the internet. However, there's very few careers that you can get into like this and have that kind of success right away. And it will change your life. I've seen people get one or two commission checks and it changed their life. It's incredible, okay? That definitely, I would say, is a huge, huge pro. You don't have to wait, okay, well, you know, 15 years down the line, I'm gonna get promoted, and I'm gonna get that one position, and I'm gonna finally get paid, uh-uh. You can come in, get a couple sales, boom, you get one, two, three, four commission checks, and you're rocking and rolling, man, okay? Definitely one of the pros. Number two is the fact that you will have to learn at least, at the very least, basic sales skills. And the reason I say that's a pro, because some people look at it as a con, they're like, well, I don't want to be labeled as a salesman. I don't want to be labeled as a used car salesman. Look, ladies and gentlemen, the ability to sell. With it comes so many other things. You think it's just about, you know, manipulating people and all that shit. Uh-uh, it's persuasion, not manipulation. Persuasion. Now, if I have an evil intention behind my persuasion, then you can say it's manipulation and all that stuff, okay? But then, again, that's up for debate. Persuasion skills, okay? Getting what you want out of life. Understanding that with a client, if I can persuade them, a lot of people will have a difficult time making a decision, but with proper persuasion techniques and skill, I can get them out of their own way, help them make a decision, and they benefit and I benefit. Nothing more sweet than that, I think, and it's a skill that very few people have, okay? But behind that comes facing your insecurities, becoming a lot more confident, walking around with your chest out, smiling, living a better life, being happier, and enjoying this reality that we all live in. What if I told you that with real estate, you would get that? Well, that's definitely a pro, and that's the way I see it, if you're committed, okay? Another pro is, in this industry, right, you can build your own brand, meaning I can join a team and go that route, right? So I guess you can say it's flexibility, and I can be a part of a world-class team, or I can build my own empire. So you have options and flexibility when you get into it. It's not like you just are selling yourself and you're on some... Uh, you know, floor and making calls. Yeah, you're doing that, but I can say, okay, I can team up with this guy and join them, or I can do my own thing. I can later get my broker's license and start my own brokerage and do my own thing, or I can just be a salesperson and be under this brokerage and create my own team and my own mini empire. You have so many options, right? That's the beautiful part about it is I can either stay under somebody else, create my own team under somebody else, or create my own brokerage, you know, your, your ability to brand within even your own brokerage is limitless and you can do whatever you want. Right? Because look at some people in my company, like Keller Williams, you'll look and you see Keller Williams in the corner, but then you see their brand, Team Bob and Joe, Team Sarah and Kelly, or whatever it is. So you can create this huge branding, even though you're technically under another industry. Now imagine if you work for Nike or some of these other companies, you're under their brand. You can't create your own brand within the brand. And I think that's an awesome thing in real estate is you're working for yourself, <clears throat> you're working for yourself, but even though you're under somebody, you can actually create your own thing and be your own entity like I've done. Right? I've always been with big companies like Century 21 and Keller Williams, but look, I've created a brand. Team BC is a brand. Right? And lastly, this is one of the biggest pros is it opens so many other doors. Through networking and that kind of stuff, I've met incredible people. I've forged great relationships. I'm speaking on stage now with the guys from Million Dollar Listing. Who else is doing that? Right? Or what else, what else out there or what other career would give you that opportunity to go from doing a job, being on social media, creating your own brand to now sharing the stage with people who have been on TV, national TV, international TV. It's insane, okay? And I think that's something that you're not gonna find pretty much anywhere else, okay? So I don't wanna ramble on and on. I'll end the video here. 
Uh, if you feel like I missed anything, you want to highlight anything or give your own tips, go ahead and put them in the comment section below. I'd be curious to hear if you guys have any thoughts or observations about what I said. Additionally, make sure that you like the video and subscribe. And as always, I'll give one shout out to my coaching program, Modern Success. If you haven't gotten on it, I recommend you get on it now. It keeps getting better and better and we keep growing by the day. Everything's in the description. Peace out, Team DC.